when your son was cast as you in the movie, yeah, how I mean, it, he killed it. Yeah, man, he got busy. But but did you know that he was capable of doing that? Of course, he's my son. I know, but you see him up there as you. Well, you know, a lot of people ask this. You know, it's, it's your son. Yeah, like he had a shoe in to yeah. do it. No, I actually knew he was the best guy for this role. Um, I could have put him in a movie a long time ago. You know, he's been around. He's been around Hollywood since he was a baby. So, um, you know, he was right for this. You know, I, I had he had went with me on stage a lot uh, on tour. I would let him do, you know, NWA song, and then I let you know I had a couple songs with him, and then I just saw that he he had it. So I just really, you know, brought it to him a few years ago before we did the movie and told him like. Yo, if you put your mind to this and you get your acting chops up to, to to the level that they need to be, you could probably get this role. And he worked he worked two years nonstop. You know, he 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 trained out here in LA, he trained in New York, he just got better and better and better. And then then he ended up being the best guy for the role because it was other guys who auditioned for the part. And Universal had to sign off on him. So Actually, he was just the right guy. What did you think when you first saw the movie? I was blown away. I mean, a lot of this stuff people got to understand, I discovered in making the movie because I wasn't around. Once I left the group in 89, I didn't know what they was going through. So in researching and putting this movie together, I heard, you know, Ren do an interview and Yella. We were, we was just researching and hearing all these stories that happened when I was on the other side of town doing my thing uh, was was interesting to me. So I was like, if I'm discovering stuff, and I'm in NWA, the audience, they 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 have to be captivated by this story. You look at that picture right there. What, what's that look that you're giving us there? What's that? Uh, I'm tired of doing these damn photo shoots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm about tired of this photo shoot look. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember that day? Yeah, I do. You know, um, actually, we was just happy at this point to start doing stuff. It don't look, we don't look happy. No, you don't. We don't look happy. But, but rappers aren't supposed to look happy, are they? Well, you know, we wanted to make sure people knew we were serious about this because a lot of people was taking West Coast rap as a joke. You know, the only person at the time who was really breaking through was Ice-T. Yeah. So we was the second in line. So we wanted to make sure that that they took us serious, the world took us serious, and that that it wasn't a joke. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.